I'm Dr. Christine Meyer, and I feel poop coming on. I hate colon cancer so much. I am not kidding, guys. This is one of those things that keeps me up at night. It's so important. It's a million dollars important. It's my aunt and mentor important. It's one of my best friends growing up important. Hundreds, even thousands of patients at my practice aren't getting the screenings that they need. Which brings me back to the poop. Colonoscopy is not an easy thing to convince people to do, but there is an easy way to get screened for colon cancer, and it involves poop. The FIT test is a super simple, inexpensive way to detect microscopic traces of blood in your stool. This test is literally the easiest thing in the world. I was racking my brain trying to figure out why it was that hundreds of patients had not had those FIT tests done. And then it occurred to me, people are nervous about it. They don't know what to expect. They think the test is complicated or time consuming or frankly, icky. So here I am. I am gonna show you just how quick, simple and non-icky this test is. If doing this test for you all on this video gets us closer to saving one person from this horrible, devastating, merciless disease, then these next five minutes will be worth it. I'm holding in my hand the humble fit test. Everything you need is in this envelope. Your lab order, a simple instruction sheet, your tissue paper, which will lay on the toilet, your cartridge for collecting the sample, an absorbent towel and a biohazard bag, and then the envelope that you're gonna send the specimen back in. That's it. Okay guys, let's poop. Okay, so all I have brought into the bathroom with me are my tissue. I'm gonna just place that like that. And I have my cartridge. And now it's up to me. I'll see you in a minute. Okay, you guys didn't actually think I was gonna show you my poop, did you? We used a little bit of toothpaste as a stand-in so I could show you how to actually collect your specimen. So you wanna unsnap the green cap and remove the tiny little grooved end. It's really important that your specimen cover all of the grooves. Place that in there, pretty good. Insert the collected specimen back in the cartridge and snap it closed. Flush that. That paper is totally flushable. Wrap the little cartridge in the absorbent towel. And then this whole thing goes into this biohazard bag. So you'll take your prescription, slide that in the envelope, place your specimen right on top of it. And that's it. That took me like three minutes. If you're a dude, it might take you like 45. But really, three minutes to screen yourself for colon cancer, it's totally worth it. Now, a couple of important things. You may actually get a call that your specimen did have some blood in it. Do not panic. That doesn't mean immediately that you have colon cancer. It just means that we need to do further tests. Some very simple things like hemorrhoids or even eating beets can turn this test positive. The other really important point is that this test has to be done every year. Do you have three minutes a year to screen yourself for colon cancer? Yes, you do. I'm Dr. Christine Meyer from Christine Meyer MD and Associates. Who feels a poop coming on?